Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Last week we talked about what to do with an old dumb TV. My suggestion was to turn it in to a Windows PC with an Intel compute stick. If Windows is overkill, we can do it a bit cheaper with a Chrome bit. In last week's episode we talked about why you might want to do this. Maybe you've got an old TV and you don't have a set-top box. You want something better so that you can watch all the new streaming services and this is a better way to do it. If you missed that episode, you can catch it linked up here. So rather than the Windows PC, this week's solution is a $169 Chromebit. Basically the same as a Chromebook, but in a small stick form factor that you plug into the HDMI of your TV. All you then need to do is plug it into power, plug in a wireless keyboard and mouse, connect it up to your Wi-Fi, and you're off and ready to go. If you're not familiar with a Chromebook, it's basically a Chrome-based device. So you boot it up, log into a Google account, and you're sitting ready. All you have is Chrome and all of the apps that you can install with Chrome, which is actually quite a lot. Again, this machine isn't massively specced because it doesn't really need to be. The processor is a Rockchip Quad-Core RK3288C. It has two gigs of RAM, 16 gig of storage, but realistically, that's enough. Once you're logged in, you've got your Google Drive to store everything else that you need, and you really don't need any more USB ports than that. The only thing that might be slightly useful is some local storage, but 16 gig is probably enough for a lot of people. So now you can plug it in, get it going, and you've got a Chrome desktop ready to connect to the streaming services or go to the Google Play Store, install some games, some other apps that you need, and you've got a fully fledged computer there on your TV. And I have to say, some of the controls were really fantastic, especially for being able to match the screen resolution and overscan directly to my TV. Realistically, you don't necessarily want to be word processing or doing a spreadsheet on your TV, but the options are there with Google Docs and Google Sheets. It might be cool to have your to-do list on the TV with Google Keep. It's not necessarily the most convenient computer to use in the world, but it's there and you've got the big screen if you need it, and generally your built-in surround sound and everything as well. A business could also make use of it, either for displaying promotional information or possibly internal tracking information through a local intranet page. In fact, I've set up a similar situation at my school just recently. What sort of uses do you think you could find for a machine like this? Let me know in the comments down below. The Tech Doctor exists to help you navigate your own technology maze and become your own technician. You can subscribe to our videos by clicking down here, or there's some episodes that you may not have seen before here and here. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.